Powtoon vs. Animaker, which is better animation video maker for you in 2021. Hi guys, today I am comparing Powtoon with Animaker and we'll figure out that which one of these platforms is better for you for your whiteboard animation, classic animation and much more. So let's get started. So we know both of these platforms are amazing and both of these platforms are actually animation maker platforms where you can actually make whiteboard animation and classic animations and your video presentations as well. Both of these platforms differ from each other on different levels and they have different features that I will be showing you around. So let's get started with the pricing of both of these platforms and figure out that which one is cheaper than the other. So I will simply go to the pricing of Animaker first and let's check out what's the pricing for Animaker and whether it's affordable or not. So guys, this is the pricing for Animaker. You can see right here that there is a basic plan which is $10 per month. Then there is a starter plan which is $19 per month. Pro plan for $49 per month which is the recommended plan as well. And then there is an enterprise which is the custom pricing as you customize your features as well. So it starts from $10 to $50, almost $50. And that's pretty good if we talk about the features offered in all of these plans you can see right here that you get five premium downloads 10 premium downloads 50 then there is 2k quality videos and in the enterprise you can actually get up to 4k quality videos in the pro plan you actually get built 30 custom characters as well and in this one you will get 15 custom characters so that's pretty good for the pricing i think they are offering pretty good features so let's go to the pricing of powtoon now i will just simply click on pricing and let's check out whether it is cheaper than animaker or not so guys, this is the pricing for Powtoon. You can see right here, they have a pro plan, which is $19 per month. And then there is pro plus, which is $59 per month. And then there is an agency plan, which is $99 per month and 118 bills yearly. So when we talk about the plans on Powtoon, you can see right here that they're starting from $19. And then there is a $59, which is actually the recommended one, we would say. So when we compare the pricing for both of these Animaker and Powtoon you can see right here that Animaker is actually cheaper than Powtoon but when it comes to the features that's where the difference you know you get to know that why Powtoon is a little expensive than Animaker because Animaker is a basic animation making platform that I will be showing you around in the features Powtoon is actually, you know, kind of better than Animaker because of all the features it offers and different kind of animations. And you can see right here that in the Pro Plus plan, you will get 10 GB. Then there is download as MP4 as well. Then there is commercial use rights. So there are different features that are available in Powtoon that are not available in even the Pro plan of Animaker. So that's why we can just say that this point actually goes to Powtoon. Okay, so right now I have signed up for Powtoon and I have also signed up for Animaker. Now the sign up process for both of these is completely easy. All you have to do is just sign up with your Google account and that's pretty good. So this is the, you can see this is the dashboard for Powtoon. You can see that there are templates available, imports and blank. So you can see the overlook of Powtoon right here and you will be able to see that there are 46 templates for presentations available, 7 templates for video and CVs. 33 templates for invitation and holidays that's actually in the free plan and then you get the gifts as well you will see all of these different gifts that are given to you as when you sign up so that's pretty good so you get all of these different creative templates on powtoon if we talk about animaker you can actually go ahead and check out all the templates on animaker as well and when we talk about the templates that are available on animaker and when we talk about the templates that are available in powtoon Powtoon. So you can see right here uh, that they have all of these different templates and as a look of the templates if I'll just simply select any of these I can actually you know get a preview of the template right here on Powtoon. We can also get a preview of the template on Animaker as well and that's what I wanted to show you that how the animations actually look. You can see right here that you can actually do whiteboard animation on Powtoon as well. But whiteboard animation is not available in Animaker. 
So that's a big difference. You can see that this template actually involves whiteboard animation. Whiteboard animation means that you can see this simple animation in which you have characters and it does not involve that much colors and you actually move the slides with your hands. With your hands, I mean you have this look in which it looks like your hand is moving things. So you can see this kind of animation is also available on Powtoon. But if I go back to Animaker, let me show you the kind of templates they have. So you can see right here that these are the kind of templates that are available on Animaker. These are simple animations in which you can actually, you know, characters can talk, they can move. By the looks of it, it's kind of like a 2D animation and it's good very simple uh, but as we compare it to powtoon i think it's not that professional and when it comes to the characters there are many characters that are available on powtoon you can actually you know go ahead and you can see that there are many templates many categories of templates that you can actually choose from but on animaker you will see these bunch of templates that actually look alike so if i want to edit something let's use this one and let me show you how animaker actually works and what kind of features i I'm talking about so yeah guys right now i am in the studio of animaker this is how animaker looks when you're making a video this is your workspace so what happens is you simply give title to your video you can just give it a name and then you can see all of these characters right here if i want to move a character i will simply click on that character and move him or her as i like if you want to make them smaller you can just simply make them smaller by this if you want to edit any text, you will simply click on that text and backspace, it will be removed and you can add your own text. There you go. After that, you can see that if you want to lock the text, you can do that. This is the scene one. If I want to go to the scene two, as we saw in the template video, then it will take me to scene two and the scene two looks like this. If I want to add another character, I will simply drag that character and drop them right here and this is the character character that was in the template if i want to remove this character i will simply click on delete and it will be deleted you so you can see these are different characters that are available in animaker and in the free version you can see there are only few of them available like maybe three or two characters that are in the free version so that's pretty bad but if you'll you know buy plan then definitely you can avail different characters but when it comes to characters you can see that they are just basic characters and when it comes to the movement you can actually you know make a character do different movements you click on actions and right here you can see this character can do a bunch of things right now he is moving his hand and talking if I want to add a voice into this character, I can simply click on voice and I can actually record a voice myself and give this character a voice of my own. I can add text to speech and upload a voice that I already have. So this is how basically it works. If I want to add any elements, any properties into the video, I can do that as well. Different shapes and gradients can be added into your animation. For example, you will simply grab it and drop it right here and it will be added into your video. Super easy to use basic animation and the video at the end actually kind of looks pretty good and you can see all of these different options right here if i want to zoom in i will simply click on plus if i want to zoom back i will simply click on the minus button then you can see the timeline of each slide right here and you adjust the timeline from here so if we go to the studio in powtoon you can see this is what the studio of powtoon looks like pretty different from animaker pretty professional and kind of complicated looking that's why we get an idea that animaker is kind of like very beginners friendly but when it comes to powtoon you can see that you actually will need a kind of education and learning for that but once you get to use powtoon you will be able to you know use it very easily so on powtoon you can actually you know go ahead and create your video of your own and these are pretty Good templates that you can actually choose from so yeah the basic difference between animaker and powtoon will be that powtoon is kind of like very professional and animaker is professional too we saw that animaker is cheaper than powtoon but the features you get in powtoon are not available in animaker both of these platforms are actually pretty good to make basic animations and to make your presentations very easily so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel